for more than half a century. The last week in January is dedicated as an annual celebration of parochial education in the Catholic tradition with Catholic Schools Week. And yesterday, we shared information on Catholic Schools Week in North Platte with North Platte Catholic Schools. Today, we venture into Keith County with St. Luke's in Ogallala, a school system with history dating back to the early 1950s. St. Luke's provided eight grades of spiritual and academic education under the direction of the Ursuline Sisters from Kentucky until the 1980s when it transitioned to a K through five, the capacity in which it remains today. Bishop Joseph Hannafin with the Diocese of Grand Island, visited St. Luke's in Ogallala today and stresses it, like any other Catholic school in the diocese, welcome individuals of other religions as well. Indeed, we have not only Catholics, but we have non-Catholics, and we have um, other Christians, but we have non-Christian students as well who come to our schools. And some of our schools are upwards of 25 to 30% non-Catholic in their enrollment. And so we're trying to be welcoming of everybody to give them a sense of not only our faith, but a good formation uh, as an education in, in their life as young people. Very impressionable years and very important that they have that. The Diocese of Grand Island has eight Catholic schools from Grand Island to the Nebraska Panhandle. I think they provide our students and our families really an option. Um, but an option is just not an alternative. An option that really is um, very much allowing them to say, I want faith formation for my students. I want my children to be a part of a community of people who also believe what we believe. So I think that really is the role of the Catholic school is to reinforce what faith children receive at home. And I think our, our, our schools do just that um, from uh, all across the diocese where I visit. So.